My name is Ayub Chitsos, Pora Elite Mastermind Group. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know cool. where Wait, you are. Wait, what was, I didn't catch your name. What was your name? My name is Vahid, V-A-H-I-D. Vahid, nice to meet you. And Same it's an Carlos. honor to be on here. Yes, yeah, so my name is Carlos Martinez. Uh, quick way to introduce myself. I love putting together masterminds in Los Angeles, bringing some of the biggest entrepreneurs that we know. And on top of that, I do uh, paid advertising. So companies pay me to grow their businesses. That's a bit about what I do. Let's dive yeah. into thinking Grow Rich. When did you start? How did you start? Sure, yeah. So Think and Grow Rich, this book has been one of, hands down, one of the best uh, things that happened in my life. It was introduced by my uncle. His name's Tony Martinez, and he builds resorts in Mexico, right? So like hotels, massive things. And he, uh, he was always in sales, and he was very successful at a young age. So he would tell me to read and invest in myself. And one of the first books that he, he told me to read was Think and Grow Rich. So I started when I was, uh, he gave me that book at 15 years old. That is nice. Yeah. What are a couple of things that you remember when you started reading it? What were a couple of things that popped out to you? A couple of things that popped out to me, obviously the big, the big reason why I do masterminds is the principle of, the, you know, the mastermind principle, right? Where it says if you put yourself in a room and collaborate with other entrepreneurs, other people that have the same vision, that there's something called the third mind, which is called the mastermind, right? So whenever you're in a room, a collective group of people with the same mission and the same vision, there's this mastermind. So that's a big thing. Uh, it really accelerates the growth of us as individuals and as businesses. So that's why I love that. Um, another thing, of course, is the, uh, whoops. Am I back? Okay. Can you see me? Yeah, I got you. Okay. So... Another thing, Vahid, that, I, that really would have, uh, you know, made a big impact on me was just the simple act of, of manifestation um, through, through trex, it's called sexual transmission, right? Have you heard that? You, you know that principle? That's a very, very important principle that everybody should master at some time or another. A lot of people think that's a sexual intercourse or having sex it has nothing to do with the physical part but i think everybody should read the chapter because i think everybody gets uh, a lot more from it. you can't explain those things you gotta read it study it apply it so it's not you can learn by just watching a youtube video that's not going to do it that will give you some ideas on what you need to do in the practice but you need to implement it but yeah i got it go ahead yeah, absolutely. And, and I think that's a great point, too. You know, a lot of people will get into these books and not and, and they'll understand the power of a principle like the mastermind principle or sexual transmission, but they don't know how to apply it. Right. So what do you think is the uh, like, for example, for those two exit for those two principles, how do you apply those in your life? Like, you know, do you also go to events? Do you um, you know, do you like use well, that? I energy? Saw you at an you, you got a picture with Jason Capital. So was that a mastermind group or was that you at his event? So both, actually. I met, uh, I've met Jason Capital both on stage by going on stage, but I've also met him because I've invested almost $7,000 or $8,000 with Jason Capital for his masterminds. That is nice. That is nice. So what a couple of things that you've learned from Jason Capital so far. Yeah, I mean, a big a big part of Jason Capital's training together was the the art of speaking, right? Because speaking is one of the highest paying skills. There's a couple of skills that pay you the most. That's copywriting, right? Writing copy, you know, your captions are perfect examples of that. Sales pages that are crushing it are perfect, perfect examples. Uh, the second thing is selling, right? So being able to sell, whether you're doing online sales, door-to-door -door sales, just that simple act of selling, and then the last thing being speaking. So I went through the Power Speakers Academy, and it taught me a lot on how to sell from stage, sell from webinars, because honestly, and my mentor told me this, and I'd, say, I'd, I'd want everyone that's actually taking note, that's actually watching the interview right now, um, you know, understand that you're going to reach more people online than you will in person, than you will offline. 
So it's about how do you exponentially grow your awareness online so you can reach more people and get your product, your service out there. And in order to do that, you have to learn how to speak, right? How to speak in front of people that captures people's attention, how to speak in a way that that makes you credible so that people buy from you. And that's why it's one of the most important skills. Like Carlos Carrera, he, he says he's a public speaker. Reach out to, oh, absolutely. But speaking, one of the highest paying skills out there. So that's, that's a big majority of what Jason and I went through, as well as just psychological hacks in your, in your sales pages and, and the appearance. Another note, another thing, right? Every, everything is perspective. Every, uh, uh, someone's perception is their reality. So whether you have, you know, there's people out there with a million followers plus, and, and they're known to be fake, yet people still buy into that perception of, oh, man, this guy is, is massive, right? So perception is a reality. Uh, so being able to create the sales pages in a way where it just people are bound to buy things, um, that's the majority of, like, what we went to. I agree. I mean, he's a good, he's a, he's a great trainer. I've gone through some of his courses myself here and there. I've watched some of his videos on YouTube. He knows what he's talking about. So that's, at the end of the day, you need to know. That, that's, that comes to another, I think, principle that we take for granted, and that's where a specialized knowledge comes in. You definitely mm -hmm. want to go find what is it that you want to do, and if you're passionate, I mean, that's a bunch of bullshit. You have to be passionate about something. You got you to gotta make money. So first, Absolutely. you got to provide for your family. Then you have the time or the luxury of freedom. Now you want to go learn a skill. And that skill being a specialized knowledge, whether that's selling, whether that's copywriting, doesn't matter what industry. You could be the best expert plumber. You could be the best yeah. expert contractor building houses. So it doesn't matter what profession. Every profession has their own experts, and those experts make make the most amount of money because they're experts. They put in the ten thousand, fifteen hours, you know, fifteen thousand hours into it, so they know everything that could go right and wrong. And I think Jason has done that uh, when it comes to selling, copying. Uh, he's got a course, email marketing. He's got a couple of good things that that are out there, but you got to be able to find out what is it that you want to do get good at it and then get better at it and get more great at it so you just gotta you know you just gotta elevate through the skills and just keep at it and absolutely that's overnight success typically takes about 10 15 years if you notice or if you watch jason capital's story and he talks about you know he's been through like 10 15 years of ups and downs already so it's not like it's that person that we know that was created yesterday or was a year or two. It was 15 years in making with their own ups and downs and challenges and turbulences. So that's what makes a person authentic. Going Absolutely. through not just buying a nice car or, or being, a, you know, a big house. Or, those things are good. Nothing wrong with that. I like those things too. But at the same time, <laughs> those things don't defy who I am because I build in true uh, muscle power. I've already gone through those and I've learned those skills. Now I'm speaking on experience side versus just reading something online or have heard about something. So, Yeah. Oh, no, 100%. Centralized, centralized knowledge, right? I think a big, a big thing, just how you were talking about earlier, it's mastering something. And, and actually, you know, aside from the cars, because we're gonna, everyone watching this is gonna get cars. I feel like everyone that is here is here for a reason. You're gonna get the cars. You're gonna get the the, the nice things. But that aside, right? The byproduct, in order, those are byproducts of achieving things in real life, in person that actually bring value, right? Actually bring a solution to the marketplace. And the only way you're gonna create a, a solution that powerful is by having the centralized knowledge having information and mastery over one thing versus trying to become the jack of all trades and the, i see so many people separating their, their attention on you know oh i'm doing e-commerce and i'm doing you know uh, i'm doing sales and i have my own business and i'm a social media agency like they have all these things and it's ridiculous because you know what what would somebody pay you for that you get results every single time and that's centralized centralized knowledge and having that system so I also saw a question in there too. What, what advice would you give to someone that wanted to speak but don't know where to start? 
Um, this is a great question because I was there myself. Q dollars. I was there myself that I would, you know, if I, I wasn't getting invited to speak at the it, when I was two years ago, right, or a year and a half ago, I wasn't getting invited to speak. And so I remember, and one of the things I learned from Jason as well, I owe a lot of this. He said, "Look, Carlos, if you aren't getting invited to the party, you have to have a party of your own." Right, and so that's exactly what I did. My first ever event only had about twenty-four people. I only sold the tickets for seven dollars, but I used the video, I used the content, I used that experience to do more, to launch more events, to to make them better, to make them bigger. And because of all that value as well, and all the real in real life, in person, you know, speaking engagements that I had, then I'd get invited. You know, I'd get invited to big stages. So that's what I would advise. For you, definitely, But, uh, I highly yeah. recommend them looking up other people. Everybody, every every public speaker that I know of or I look up has gone and done a video on how they have started. Uh, it may not be in one video; you might actually need to watch multiple videos. But I think looking at what everybody else has done, it will it, you won't be able to replicate the same thing. But at least you you get inspiration of how they went and did it. So. I agree with that. Well, listen, Carlos. I want to thank you so much for taking this time and being with us, brother. I appreciate it. I know you're a busy man. Hopefully, we'll get to do a lot more. Obviously, you're in LA. I'm in Woodland Hills. You're about 20 miles away from me, so you're very, very close. We'll definitely yeah. do some collaboration and maybe do some more videos. And we'll pick your brain to see where we can do stuff. Maybe we'll do that last month group that you were talking about. Okay, sounds great. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Honored to be here. Everyone, keep crushing it. I'll see you on the next one.